So a couple of months ago, I did a series on the P365 series, and I told you guys that I wanted to keep you updated as I kind of progressed with my P365 and made some changes. So in today's video, I want to talk about one of my favorite upgrades to the P365 series, and that is a Boresight Solutions Grip Module. The standard grip module for the P365 is perfectly workable. There's a reason that it is one of the most popular handguns on the market right now, but it doesn't always leave enough space for your support hand to get a really solid grip. And although, again, this is perfectly workable for me with smaller hands, I know that it can be a really, really big challenge for those with medium to large size hands. And I feel that the XL grip has a lot of the kind of similar issues that the standard grip module has, but it does have the addition of a little bit of a flared magwell. And for me personally, I don't find that I get a lot of benefit from it, but it can cause a little bit of extra printing. This is where the Boresight Solutions grip modules can make a really big difference. And no, this is not sponsored. I have two different models. The first one is a standard grip module with a Razorback edition. The Razorback modification adds material to the back of the grip. This fills out your shooting hand more so that the gun gets more locked into your hand. And it also gives your support hand more room to apply pressure. This makes a huge difference in how well I can control the short grip. It's still noticeably snappy for me, but it doesn't bounce out of my support hand like it sometimes could before. I really do appreciate how much extra control I can get out of a small package that I can still deep conceal or carry in a dress. The second module is for the P365XL and it has what some might call the Filster Mod. John Houtman came up with this set of features. It's a razor back grip with a flare on the front of your pinky and the magwell shaved off. This grip really makes the P365X shoot like it's a bigger gun. The Razorback locks into my shooting hand and there's a ton more real estate for my support hand to apply pressure to. The flare on the front helps me apply good pinky pressure too. The modification to the magwell and the organic shape of the grip also make it easier to conceal. You'll notice I have hockey tape on both of my grips. The texture on both of the Boresight grips is really great for shooting, but it's just a little bit too aggressive for me to carry directly against my skin. Ben at Boresight Solutions will tune the texture to what you like, but for me, a little bit of hockey tape helps me calm the texture down while still being able to have a secure grip. And that's a tip that you can use for any grip module that you have, whether it's Glock or Sig or whatever. Wrapping it in hockey tape can make it a lot more comfortable for carrying while not really affecting your shooting performance. The other thing that I really appreciate about these grip modules is that they can make the gun more shootable without adding anything to it that's going to make concealment more challenging while also still maintaining holster compatibility. That's one of my main issues with a lot of the other grips out there um, and why the Icarus grip is not even remotely interesting to me at all because um, a lot of them affect holster compatibility. The retention of a Kydex holster mostly relies on the shape of the trigger guard. Once the trigger guard is modified, we start seeing issues with holster retention and fit. The last thing that I wanna do is get a grip module that maybe I enjoy shooting, but can't find a compatible holster for. So in conclusion, are these grip modules necessary? No, not really, but one of the really nice things about the P365 series is that they can be customized and modified to behave a lot more like a larger gun without dealing with the difficulty of concealing a larger gun. So thanks for watching today's video. If you're looking for more content surrounding the P365 series, check out this playlist.